Chris Lawrence guiding to talk about top roping and top rope anchor setup. I like a nice industrial strength anchor so that I can not worry about it at all. So to get down to the edge, I'm gonna use a 120 centimeter sewn sling and attach it right into what I call my harness hard points. So this is the same place you attach a rope through this little opening here, up through the main loop there. I like to keep the, the uh, sewn part close to the harness, cinch it up like that. I don't like to go off that. I like to reserve the belay loop for carabiners because this part's all got the extra reinforcing. I put this around my waist, flip it on there. All right, so as I approach the edge here, I'm gonna use some caution. I, I call it the crab walk. So I get down on my butt and I can scooch in. And this way there's no tripping hazard as I approach the edge. I get in close, get the leash that I've already prepared, clip that in and lock it up. So now I've got some peace of mind as I'm getting organized here on the edge. This operation requires four locking carabiners, at least two of which should be identical and a 120 centimeter sewn sling. If your bolts are further back from the ledge, you can use the 240 sewn sling. Uh, we can get away in Squamish mostly with a 120. So I like the carabiners to face down and out, just like that. When I say down, I mean the big end of the gate, down, and as I put it into that position, I'm gonna clip and flip. So I flip it like that. And the same here, I position it that way. So to get it into position, I'm going to have to clip and flip like that. Now I take the sewn sling. I'm gonna clip a single piece of the webbing into each lock up each, because I'm done with these carabiners now. They can be locked. And I need to make a V configuration by drawing this strand down until it meets the other configuration there. I like to have the join and the webbing on the top so it doesn't get abrasion. I gather this and I'm going to tie a figure eight knot. Like that, figure eight on a bite. Just like that. Now I take my other two carabiners. It's nice to have these, again, down and out, but facing opposite directions. Just sitting like that. Okay, so the rope, this is the middle of the rope. I've got it set up already. Uh, I put a knot in the middle here just so I know where the middle is. I'm gonna clip in one side or the other of that knot. The knot's just a marker. I'll be taking that knot out when I'm all ready to go. Okay. Right, so now I've pre-prepared the rope in butterfly coils. I'm gonna throw it off the cliff because I need the ends to reach the ground. So always have a knot in the end of your rope. I'm a fan, big fan of the barrel knot. And you can check the other links to learn that. One on each end. This is so I can't repel off the end of the rope. Never throw the ropes unless you're attached to the rock face. Some people like to stand up, less stable. This sort of semi-squatting position works, works well. Uh, always take a look down the cliff to make sure you don't have somebody soloing up without a rope. You don't want to knock them off. Make sure nobody's lead climbing up. And uh, you yell, rope, so that everybody can hear you. People can do a heads up, rope. And uh, I'm going to stand because I need to wind up a bit here. So I throw this. If there's a lot of wind, you may gauge the wind and throw a little bit into the wind. Rope! Ropes are down. Uh, I no longer need this knot. I'm gonna take it out. It was just a marker. So I know that's the middle. I actually have some marks on there that are just a little faint. And uh, we're gonna check this anchor just so that it's consistent with what we usually do, this industrial strength anchor. And I use uh, a mnemonic uh, called IDEAS, I-D-E-A-S. And I means uh, integrity. So all this equipment is designed for the purpose 
It's, it's, it's full strength, it's designed for rock climbing. Um, D is doubling, everything's doubled. We have two bolts, they're not rusty, they're, they're uh, stainless steel, they're very strong, uh, they're not loose at all, the hangers are not loose, and uh, I've got two carabiners. If you were to cut this piece of webbing, you're still on this piece. We even have two pieces in the focal point there for doubling, and two carabiners down here. So we're, we're extra safe here. Uh, e is equalized, so a pull here will share the load half on each anchor point. A for angles is we're looking at this angle here. On this configuration, it's about 30 degrees. Uh, you don't want that to go above 90. So 90 would bring you out here. What that would do is add multiplication of forces to each anchor point and create more load, which is what you don't want. You want shared load. S for sharp edges means we want the rope running directly to the climber and the belayer, ideally, with no pinching going on at this point. What we don't want is something like that, where the rope is running right over the edge. We want the anchor extended over the edge like this and making a direct line to the climber and the belayer. So from this point, you've got your top rope set up, you've checked your anchor, the decision is, do I walk off or do I rappel off? That may be a bit situational and what you're comfortable with, and also how easy is it to get down. So if you want to see more about rappelling, check out the link to rappelling, walk off, consult the guidebook, and off you go.